Welcome to what I'm sure will be an historic edition of This Week in Wrestling. I'm Knuckles Nelson, and there are so many things for me to talk about, but I think the first thing we have to do is talk about April 27th. Wrestling Star Wars will be made. Good evening. What exactly are Good you evening, doing here? Good evening, fair knuckled one. How are you? I received a call from Brian Webster. He said my services were needed here at the television studio. No, Brian Webster is away on a scouting talent for the next couple of weeks. And Knuckles Nelson has finally taken his rightful place here at the desk. And I don't even know what you're doing here. But as I said, he may be scouting, but he did have access to a cellular device. He telephoned me. I answered. I answered the call, and here I am, and it's a pleasure. I see you've just started, so there's plenty of time for us to interact joyously, Knuckles. Can I ask you a question, Kincaid? Absolutely. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that don't know, this is Arch Kincaid, wrestling Star Wars wrestler who has been absent over the past couple of months, but apparently is making his return here. And uh, I just have one question for you. Are you a pothead, Kincaid? Pardon? Ho, 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 Well, there's got to be some explanation for this behavior. Ho, 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 ho. Knuckles, please do not throw around accusations of drug use. Well, would you we be willing to submit know. to a random drug test? Because there's something going on here. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, enough about you for a minute. Let's I talk agree. about April 27th, Friday night, our debut in Amesbury, Massachusetts. Now, I know that Brian Webster would love to be here to explain this to the wrestling public that BAD, Brian Day, is going to challenge Kid USA for the New England Heavyweight Championship. And since you're here, Doughhead, what are your thoughts on that match? Well, that's an intriguing question, because Kid USA is a pure wrestler, maybe superior, but he is just a small man, not small as in little or petty, but small in stature. Whereas Brian Day, who is also an excellent wrestler, but does tend to rely more on power maneuvers. He is the bigger figure. So it's a small man against a big man. An interesting contest. Good point, Knuckles. Well, Kincaid, I have to admit, you're never at a loss for words. And I think that if you keep your Bates rhetoric down to a minimum, I won't have to come across this table and bash you in the mouth. Oh, I will keep my rhetorical prowess at bay if it bothers you, knuckled one. Because I do not want to intimidate you in any way, but I will. If you need to resort to bullying tactics, I will handle them when they emerge. Well, you know, they say he who cannot think fights. And I really can't think right now. So that means you'd like to compete. But unfortunately, there's a microphone and a table and cameras and lights. There isn't a ring. A ring has a mat and four ropes. Actually, only three, but four corners. You know, I'm not going to let you ruin my special day here. I've been waiting for quite a long time to get behind the desk of This Week in Wrestling and finally take a show that I, do you know, the very first episode of This Week in Wrestling, I sat at this desk. Big Woody sat in that chair, and we were removed the following week by Gil Bach. I've worked very hard with the help of my attorney, Chuck Rotundi and Newby Report, to help me get back onto this show, and now I have to put up with you. What's up with the hair? Knuckles will deal with my hair in a moment, but to address a previous point you made, I realize that you don't want me to ruin your show, but unfortunately, the sabotage seems to be well underway. <laughs> Well, you know, there are many, many things that I'd like to talk about here this week. And one of them is, if you take a look at this poster right here. Now, this poster is the upcoming event. Can you see it, Doughhead? I this is the it. upcoming event in Amesbury. Can you tell me, where is Knuckles Nelson's name on this poster? I hope you read faster than you talk. It's not on there. I'm not on the poster. And that really bothers me because there's no reason that I can see why I should not be on that poster. I'm one of the top wrestling superstars in New England. I have an idea. See those pens? You could write your name on the poster, and then you'd be on the poster. Bravo, excellent idea, if I do say so myself. Well, we're going to shift gears now for a moment, Archie. Is it okay if I call you Archie? As you wish. 
And we're going to take a look now at a very special interview that was conducted by Doug Bozak with BAD Brian Day. This is an interview that really gets into the in-depth happenings of Brian Day in his world travels over the course of the last couple of months in his career. And I personally am looking forward to seeing this thing myself. I mean, he went to South Africa. I've never been to South Africa. So what I'd like to do right now, if it's okay with you, is take you down to part one of that interview. And let's go to